No, it's an incredible movie. It really is. And your your uh, your performance is just breathtaking and groundbreaking in many ways, too, for all Irish actresses. You have to see Eileen Walsh in this movie. Now, Eileen, do you think Irish women who face this problem of marital breakdown are experiencing something different in any way to their, let's say, international counterparts? Or, or is this a is this a particularly Irish situation in Eden? I don't think I don't think it's particularly Irish. You know, I think a lot of the places where we've done um, screenings, uh, the feedback has been very similar because people just tend to empathise with the story and with the um, with the relationship itself. You know, I think anybody that feels slightly stuck in a relationship um, needs to kind of move it on, and and sometimes we just forget to talk to each other, and we forget to communicate, and we forget how important we are in each other's lives, um, and uh, and it's about remembering that and uh, uh, but I think at the same time in, in Ireland because divorce isn't as easy to come by it's about really having to to work through it you know so would you agree that I suppose it's a universal predicament for, for men and women in marriages around the world but there's an Irish uh, there's an Irish flavour to this movie really for this for the for the sake of the predicament itself really isn't there yes there is an Irishness. And is there a bit of an emphasis on alcohol in Eden? Brida's husband, Billy Farrell, is, is constantly back and forth to the pub, like, but there's that sense that he knows himself that he shouldn't be there. Yeah, I think uh, I think that the reason why the boys focused so much on his relationship with the kids as well was that you really get to see that that's the one thing he's managed to do well, you know, to kind of continue a, a relationship and an open communication with his kids. But he does spend a lot of time uh, in the pub, um, which is where, you know, the majority of men uh, tend to have some form of, of socialising and interaction. But at, at the same time, the, the level of drinking is, is very normal in Ireland. It's not seen as being um, an issue for him. It's it's just the usual couple of pints during the week. And, you know, he's not, he's still managing to get to work and bring the money home. And, you know, he's functioning. He's not necessarily an alcoholic, you know. Both Billy and Breda are seen in various different scenes and there's alcohol there. There is alcohol. We love our pints in Ireland. The local pub is the but one of the focal points of any village, of any town. But wh- why do you think uh, Eileen, us Irish, seem to have this sort of tragic relationship to alcohol in a way compared to other countries? It's, it's not a happy relationship really, is it? Well, no, it's not a happy relationship, I suppose, because we, we have used it in the past as a, as a huge escapism but uh, at the same time I think we're learning I think it, because Ireland is becoming much more kind of uh, more like Europe or you know with kind of lots more kind of cafe delis and glasses of wine as you're eating outside and all that kind of stuff uh, I think uh, drink is becoming less of a um, rush to get drunk massively over a weekend you know uh, and I think we're, we're, we're slowly learning to, to deal with it uh, on a more normal level but I think it's purely because it's always been uh, used to connect us to other people to make it a social thing to tell stories to sing songs to boost our bravery it's always been there in our lives you know now, the purple dress, Eileen, what significance can be given to the now famous purple dress in Eden that your character, Breda Farrell, makes herself for the big night out in Eden? Do most women long for that perfect purple dress night out? I think I think we do, you know, and I think especially, you know, once you have kids and the idea of, of getting a night out is very kind of important that you, be, you begin to invest a huge amount of... Um, of uh, time and energy into how you look on that night and what you'll wear and especially for Breda with losing the weight and trying to feel kind of sexy again and uh, and feel like she has the confidence to own own that sexiness and so the, the, the purple dress for her is very important and also purple is a colour of, of confidence and uh, you know, for her, it's a very kind of uh, encouraging colour. Um, so uh, the, the dress itself is, is hugely important. And obviously, you know, over the night, when what happens, it, it, it becomes a colour that you can't hide away in either. You can't just meld into the background in a dress that's kind of backless and 
and purple and sexy and slinky and you know what I mean so it, it's it's the one she wants to show herself often and then it's the one she can't hide away in either and it's also the one that she has a, a, a bit of sex with a stranger in a bit <laughs> a bit <laughs> a bit yes and, but it's it's the first bit in a long time. <laughs> Honest so I to think God. she's uh, hugely uh, uh, emotional about it. And uh, and but I think at the same time the fact that somebody anybody has shown uh, appreciation of her and her looks and who she is without there being a history of kids or or uh, a feeling of uh, a need to have sex with her, which I think uh, it was her fear with Billy that he felt that he or that he would feel that he would have to kind of have sex with her as opposed to it just being a pure animalistic want, which is what she gets um, on the boat. And then suddenly when that happens, that, that doesn't fulfill her, her um, big dream either. It doesn't. She wants it to be Billy, you know? Yeah, it doesn't. She's sort of still left with a sort of a sense of a bit of a gaping hole in front of both of them, really. Yes, yeah. Now, we're speaking to actress Eileen Walsh here on Radio Irish, who plays the tragic character Brita Farrell in Eden. Eileen, you've won two major awards for your acting now. Film and Television Award from the Irish Film and Television Awards for Best Supporting Actress in Television for your portrayal of Teresa in the TV series Pure Mule, and then Best Actress in the 2008 Tribeca Film Festival for Eden. It's been a long journey, Eileen, since your first appearance in the movie The Van in 1996. Tell, now tell me, how does it feel to be winning all these awards all of a sudden after over a decade appearing in, in various films and stage and television and all the rest? It's coming around for you, isn't it really? Uh, yeah, no, it's brilliant. I think it's it's great to get uh, such positive feedback, and it's you know uh, awards like um, uh, like the Irish Film and TV Awards, and also like the award at Tribeca is fantastic. It's a real icing on the cake, you know. And I think a lot of time people kind of feel, I wonder what will happen from this, or what does this lead to, or and and for me, it leads to this. This is what it's about. You know what I mean? One step at a time. And if if anything more happens, that's great. But if not, this this in itself is a, a fantastic experience you know and I'm really chuffed that that, that the work has been recognized um, and that uh, you know theater wise as well obviously it's all very important uh, to continue working and to continue feeling creative and that only um, I think the awards only help just kind of keep your name out there you know it's up to you to keep the level and the standard as high as possible Getting back to the film, Eileen Eden, uh, talk to me a little about your character again, Breda Farrell. There's a great desperation in this woman. How did you, uh, as an actress, arrive at her character? Um, well, for me, I had seen the play uh, about three or four times because uh, my, my sister was in the original play. Um, so I, I knew the, the, the play very well um, and I adored uh, Eugene's writing um, and and I, I, I think a part of me felt like because of playing Therese in Pure Mule that there was a, a way in because for me there's a similarity between the two women in, in a sense of loneliness and um, you know kind of small town girls that aren't necessarily reaching for the stars they're happy to be where they are and to try and you know um, feel a, a sense of contentment and love if you know there um, and so and I think we all know that you know that's uh, it's about kind of finding those moments in your own relationship where you felt um, lonely and, and being brave enough to magnify those you know in front of cast and crew and all that kind of stuff and I think Declan really helped bring that out and uh, allowed us as a cast to be brave and to kind of push the envelope as far as we could with with such simple, small, you know, um, uh, acting, you know, to kind of really use that. 